Okay, folks, how I see things here are now where we're at with Hi Leon, the Carno, the ERX, and my reasons for uh, somewhat measured optimism. Okay, so the Carno's fully on in development, uh, getting into the testing phase. They're going to be using the Carno power generation system at their own facilities in Cincinnati, and I would presume probably down in Austin, Texas as well at some point. Um, the cash burn has diminished significantly. Um, so they're burning through cash. They, they have a positive balance sheet. They're not in the red. Um, they got a couple of hundred and fifty million dollars still in the cash reserves. They just added a, a very experienced individual, uh, Mr. Ramaswamy, who comes from the background of uh, electrification uh, commercialization space with extensive experience dating back to uh, many years working for Cummins. Um, Ramaswamy brings lots of good experience to the table in that field. As the uh, Chief Commercialization Officer, I believe his title is uh, going to be. Okay, so we got the Carno moving along. This morning now I'm going out to deliver fuel to several locations where a Carno application would absolutely be a benefit. I'm delivering some diesel fuel to a prison, I'm de delivering some diesel fuel to a hospital, <clears throat> I'm de delivering some diesel fuel to some schools, and I'm delivering it all to their backup generators. And these are big generators, uh, 200 kilowatt plus, you know, stacked. Um, so this is what Carno is starting out with as well. Okay, I said it before, I'll say it again. At some point in the future, I'm going to flip this camera around. Carno type generators could absolutely be used in those bad boys right there train engines. So, moving on. The ERX, is it dead? No, I don't think so. It's shelved. I said it before. It's shelved. It's put on the shelf. You ever dig out a box of good old books, dust off the box, and pull out a book that was written in, I don't know, I don't know, some old Jeffrey Chaucer or Robert Frost classic that's a hundred years old? Has that book changed any after you dust the dust off it? No, it's still a gem. It's still just as good as it was when it was put in the box. The ERX is just as good as it was when it was put on the shelf, okay? So it's safe, it's good technology. When the time comes, I think it will. It will be back in business. The boys from up north in British Columbia, Canada took a drive down to Austin from Edison Motors. They developed a similar type of technology as the as the EX hybrid had, where they have an electrified axle and they generate the power on board, regenerative braking. Okay? A bunch of good old boys in the logging industry, good old hardworking boys, you know, tough boys. And uh, they were down to visit Thomas Healy. They had a great visit, great visit. Don't think they were just sitting around uh, drinking tea and eating biscuits. They were talking about nuts and bolts, guys. Okay, other reasons why me, personally, I'm able to stay in the saddle and stay patient and I haven't bailed out. Am I at a loss, sitting at a loss? Yes, on paper. But I didn't lose anything because I didn't sell. I've took my average down so that I'm now 50% down. With the highly in stock sitting at around a buck 10, a buck 12, a buck 20, I don't think it would take much to drive that up to $2 from $2 to 220, it's not a stretch. From 220 to 240, not a stretch. From 220, from 240 to $3, that's not a stretch. I mean, it's going to take us some time, but it could <laughs> Don't kid yourself, it could happen overnight too. A couple of big announcements, a couple of big contracts for the Carnos. That thing would double in no time. No kidding. Anyway, a couple other reasons why I'm able to stay patient, personally, just personally me, okay? Life experience, life experience. You gotta have patience, you gotta have perseverance, and you gotta be able to withstand pain. I tell my buddies, you gotta be able to deal with three Ps, <clears throat> three Ps in order to get through this life. You gotta be able to persevere, you gotta have patience, and you gotta be able to withstand pain. Pain, emotional pain, mental pain, 
sometimes physical pain, because all three are probably coming to you at some point. Definitely two, maybe not the physical, but pain. Pain in some, some fashion is coming to you. So you need to be able to persevere. You gotta be able to have patience. Also, I have faith. I have faith in something bigger on the other side. I have faith in God. This isn't, we're not just here by accident. So, to me, I don't, I'm not striving to get to a specific destination at a specific time frame, all right? I'm gonna just continue on. I continue on, I get up each day. As long as I'm alive, I'm alive. And I keep on living. I stay on the horse, I stay in the saddle. Riding gets rocky and rough sometimes. I dip down into some valleys, around some curves. I weather some storms. We just had storms here where I'm at last week. 45 inches of snow in the northern part of Nova Scotia. Anyway, folks, that's all about I got for today. I haven't put much on here in relation to the highly on situation in a long time. So I thought I'd put a little nugget out there. For those of you that are still in the saddle and are going to remain in the saddle, maybe this will give you a little bit of inspiration to hang tough, to hang tough and stay on that horse and hang on to the reins. If you've already gotten off the saddle, that's okay too. That's how life works. Nothing's guaranteed, but for those of you still in the saddle, hang in there and stay on that horse. That's all I got. Don't sweat the small stuff. I'm gonna go out and deliver some fuel now to some generators. And uh, hey, soon maybe in the future, I won't have to do that and I'll have to look for something else to do. But I'll be all right, I've always been. Have a good day, stay in the saddle. Don't sweat the small stuff.